The Stunning Transformation of Meghan Markle Before she made tabloid headlines as Prince Harry's significant other, and as of May 19, 2018, his wife, Meghan Markle was turning heads as an actress and model. There's no doubt that she's an intriguing woman, but there may be more to her than meets the eye. What is it about this woman that has so captivated the world's attention? It's more than her good looks or her status as a royal significant other. Meghan is also known for her humanitarian work and her activism. She is an inspiring role model, devoted to philanthropic pursuits, which is a large part of the reason that many people were speculating that she was royal material early into her relationship with Harry. If there is such a thing as an American princess, Meghan is it. She's a self-made woman with beauty, grace, and charm. Of course, no fairy tale is without its setbacks. From struggling with her multiracial identity as a child to a very public divorce, Meghan's struggles have only made her emerge as a stronger woman. Childhood Identity Crisis While it may seem like she had a charmed childhood, spending a lot of time with her cinematographer father on television sets, Meghan has spoken about how she often grappled with her identity and how her mixed race features caused her to stand out. Her father is Caucasian, while her mother is African American. In a 2016 piece for Elle, the then 35-year-old Meghan wrote that she struggled to fit in as a child. She described how in her 7th grade English class, she had to fill out a census where you had to check one of the boxes to indicate your ethnicity, white, black, Hispanic, or Asian, not knowing which box to check. She said, my teacher told me to check the box for Caucasian, because that's how you look, Megan. I couldn't bring myself to do that, imagining her mother's sadness were she to find out. So, I didn't tick a box. I left my identity blank, a question mark, an absolute incomplete, much like how I felt. Her father helped her learn to define her own identity. Megan explained in her L article that her father helped her to accept her identity and embrace it. After telling him that she was unable to choose which census box to check to define her identity, he said, if that happens again, you draw your own box. It seems that Megan has done just that, carving out a place for herself in an industry that was not always willing to accept her. In her piece for Elle, Megan referred to acting as a label-driven industry in which her ethnically ambiguous look made it difficult to book work. She wrote, I wasn't black enough for the black roles and I wasn't white enough for the white ones. Even after Megan achieved stardom, her appearance was often a problem to be fixed. Megan told Allure, To this day, my pet peeve is when my skin tone is changed and my freckles are airbrushed out of a photo shoot. For all my freckle-faced friends out there, I will share with you something my dad told me when I was younger. A face without freckles is a night without stars. Her experience with racism has a huge impact on her advocacy. Her multiracial identity has had a profound effect on Megan and how she views the world. In 2015, she recounted a story on her now defunct website, The Tig, about her mother's experiences growing up African American. Her grandfather, Alvin, told her that on a family road trip, the family went to Kentucky Fried Chicken and had to go to the back for Coleridge. The kitchen staff handed me the chicken from the back door and we ate in the parking lot. That's just what it was. The story stuck with her for decades, prompting the then 33-year-old to write an essay about her family's experiences with racism. Megan said, That story still haunts me it reminds me of how young our country is, how far we've come, and how far we still have to come. It makes me think of the countless black jokes people have shared in front of me, not realizing I am mixed, 
unaware that I am the ethnically ambiguous fly on the wall. It makes me wonder what my parents experienced as a mixed-race couple. Today, Megan uses her celebrity status to advocate for equality. She said that family's experiences instilled in her a social consciousness to do what I could, and to, at the very least, speak up when I knew something was wrong. She struggled to make ends meet. Megan struggled to distinguish herself in Hollywood. In her early days in the industry, she had trouble making ends meet. While other up-and-coming actors waited tables, Megan utilized another of her talents to make money, calligraphy. She told Esquire in 2013 that she provided calligraphy services for such lucrative clients as Robin Thicke and Dolce and & Gabbana. She said, I'm glad that in the land of no one seeming to appreciate a handwritten note any more that I can try to keep that alive. On the acting side, she certainly paid her dues. One of her early television appearances at 25 years old was as a briefcase girl on the game show Deal or No Deal in 2006. Megan called that gig a learning experience, which helped her understand what I would rather be doing. Megan said that her number 26 was ill-fated and that no one ever chose it, forcing her to stay on her feet. She said, I would end up standing up there forever in these terribly uncomfortable and inexpensive five-inch heels just waiting for someone to pick my number so I could go and sit down. She helped redefine Hollywood's definition of dream girl. Megan's career in Hollywood may have gotten off to a rocky start, but landing the role of Rachel Zane on Suits catapulted her into stardom. The character of Rachel is not only beautiful, but also whip, smart, what Megan referred to as the dream girl. Megan loves that because it's a role typically reserved for, that quintessential blonde-haired, blue-eyed beauty that was the face that launched a thousand ships, not the mixed one. Megan said that the producers of the show weren't looking for someone mixed, nor someone white or black for that matter. They were simply looking for Rachel, and that in choosing her for the role, the Suits producers helped shift the way pop culture defines beauty. Her role as Rachel Zane didn't just launch her career, it was also groundbreaking, by putting a multiracial woman on TV. Megan said, Some households may never have had a black person in their house as a guest, or someone biracial. Well, now there are a lot of us on your TV and in your home with you. And with Suits specifically, you have Rachel saying, I couldn't be prouder of that. She has used her education for more than you'd think. Megan may have followed her father's footsteps into show business, but she also followed her mother's example in getting a strong education. Gloria Ragland earned a BA from Antioch University and later went on to earn a master's degree in social work from the University of Southern California. Megan graduated from Northwestern University in 2003, where she double majored in theater and international studies, both majors serving her well in her life. In addition to acting, Megan also has worked for the United States Embassy in Buenos Aires, Argentina, and as a UN women's advocate. Megan said that her job at the U.S. Embassy helped my decision to work on women's political participation and leadership. She works tirelessly to empower women. Much of Megan's humanitarian work focuses on empowering women. She traveled to India with World Vision in January of 2017 and wrote a powerful piece for Time about the young girls she encountered who are burdened by the stigma surrounding menstrual health. The then 35-year-old drew attention to how this stigmatization can perpetuate the cycle of poverty and stunt a young girl's dream for a more prolific future. The article explains that in the Western world, where women have access to clean bathrooms and sanitary napkins, 
menstruation is simply a part of life. In India, 23% of young girls end up dropping out of school because these factors are not at play. Megan finds this unacceptable, she said, we need to push the conversation, mobilize policymaking surrounding menstrual health initiatives, support organizations who foster girls' education from the ground up, and within our own homes, we need to rise above our puritanical bashfulness when it comes to talking about menstruation. She started fighting for feminism at 11 years old by writing a letter. Megan has been speaking out on behalf of women ever since she was a child. At the age of 11, a commercial played on the television in her classroom. The commercial claimed, Women all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. Megan described how her little freckled face became red with anger as the boys in her class yelled out, yeah, that's where women belong. In the kitchen. Fnagan was only 11 years old, but she went home and wrote letters to prominent female figures, including civil rights lawyer Gloria Alred and then First Lady Hillary Clinton. Moved by the young girl's outrage, the women pledged their support, and a few months later, the commercial was changed to people all over America are fighting greasy pots and pans. Today, she is vocal about women needing a seat at the table. Megan said that if an invitation to that table is not available, women need to create their own table. They are not mutually exclusive. You can still be a woman who wants to look beautiful and present well, and it doesn't lessen the fact that you are standing up for something that is incredibly important. You don't have to play dress up to be a feminist. You are a feminist exactly as you are. She will do anything to protect her privacy. It would be easy to assume that someone like Megan would be impervious to heartbreak. But she is human just like the rest of us. The actress dated producer Trevor Engelson for several years before the celebrity power couple became engaged. The pair were married for just two years before divorcing in 2013, making the split public shortly after Megan's 32nd birthday. While the split seemed amicable at the time, Megan's divorcee status was scrutinized by the public when she became involved with Prince Harry in 2016. The actress distanced herself from the gossip, even shutting down her lifestyle website The Tig, as she was thrust ever more into the spotlight. The website had provided many insights into her personal life, covering fashion, food, and essays penned by the actress herself. Her parting message on the site is to her fans, but could just as well be about herself, a reminder to the world that she is an independent woman, despite the public's attempt to define her by her partners. She said, Above all, don't ever forget your worth as I've told you time and time again. You, my sweet friend, you are enough. She is committed to using her platform for positive change. Megan has truly transformed herself into an icon, far from the typical celebrity. She may be an A-list actress, and now royalty, but Megan wants to do more in the world. She has claimed that her true passion is to use whatever status I have as an actress to make a tangible impact, she said. I've never wanted to be a lady who lunches. I've always wanted to be a woman who works. And this type of work is what feeds my soul. Now that she's married to Prince Harry, she'll have an even larger platform to do just that. She is the newest member of the royal family. Four friends, family, and the 29 million people watching via television Meghan made the stunning transformation into the Duchess of Sussex. While dating Prince Harry, her life was already beginning to change, in big and small ways. From always having to wear pantyhose to giving up her acting career, Meghan's descent into royalty will likely call for even more dramatic adjustments. That's not to say there aren't awesome benefits, too. And no, we don't just mean being married to a prince. Though surely, that's a great perk. 
One of the things that drew Harry and Meghan together in the first place was their mutual passion for affecting change in the world. She joked during her and Prince Harry's post-engagement BBC interview. That's what got date to. Now that they're married, Meghan is certainly going to use her new platform for good. She will while also devoting her time to supporting a number of charities and organizations. Could she be any more amazing? Don't stop.